did the marathon in the early 90s and when I was more able-bodied and I, I'd always wanted to do it again and then I got a Parkinson's and I thought, well, I can't do it now. And then I was talking to my eight-year-old daughter. She said, well, Daddy, you could just walk it. And I kind of went, oh, yeah. Whenever we watched it every year, I really enjoyed it. And I thought he should do it because I just really enjoyed watching it and it would be amazing to watch him do it. Children see things so clearly and they haven't learned to be negative like we have. And it was so obvious to her. It was so clear. Well, of course you can do it. So I just walked the whole thing and uh, came last by a long way. I completely forgot what Parkinson's is. <laughs> what even is Parkinson's? Me too. <laughs> well, it's either the leg thing or the hand thing. <laughs> Which one? You know, there's that cycle where you think you can't do something, you do less, and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. But I think sometimes, if you feel like it, maybe there's more you can do than you think you can. It's been really amazing. <laughs> Are you proud of him? Yeah. Now what about the bit about the best dad in the world? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the time to live is now. And I feel like I really lived today. Well, when mum told me she had Parkinson's, I was sort of, you know, I was gutted. You know, you just got to have patience with her when she's, out, when she's having her bad days, you know, and try and help her out the best you sort of can, really. Cooking, cleaning, you know, helping out. The little things count, they really do. I got a bit inspired by Alex Flynn. I decided to get back into the karate. I can do uh, movements now that I couldn't do prior to even having Parkinson's.